logging in to both three-part units. All right, down towards the bottom is a tab called Remote Copy. And when I click on that, it says, hey, these are the two three-part units I have. Now, the ports are already configured. So when you guys get in, you don't need to do any port configuration. Please don't mess with the port configurations. They're already set up, and they don't need to be changed. I'm going to begin by creating a brand new remote uh, copy configuration, and a wizard pops up. Okay. First part of this wizard is what kind of topology do you want? And my choices are the ones that we covered. Uh, a one-to-one, one-to-many one being two, or a um, one, let's see, uh, it, this would be a four-to-one or a synchronous long distance. The only thing that is blue, bluish, is the one-to-one, -one, so I'm going to select that. I've opened up a new window. You should be seeing, um, you should have had a separate window pop up. Okay. Those, those, uh, the fun world of virtual classrooms. Okay. So I'm going to select that. When I do, then I then get boxes available for other guys. Who do I want to be my target? Who do I want to be my source? So I'm going to right click on the, um, one of them and say, okay, I want this guy to be my source, and I'm going to pick the T series because that's where you guys have been building stuff. And then I'm going to come over to the other one and right-click and say, okay, he's going to be the F series because I know that there's not much over there. And when I've done that, I now get the option to click the next button down here at the other end. Okay, it now says uh, do some ports. Okay, there's checkboxes up here at the top for fiber channel and IP. If I close off everything, then everything goes away. Turns out we don't have any fiber channel connectivity between these two boxes, so I must pick IP in order to set things up. Okay, so I'm going to create a link between two of these guys. Okay, did that. And I come down to hit the next, and it doesn't let me continue. How come? What do I have to do in order to uh, continue here? Something we talked about in the lab and something in red letters on the screen. I got to have my second link. Okay. So again, it requires at two links. I'm going to grab this one and just to show you that you can do strange things, I could drag this to any of the other three. It doesn't care just as so long as I get two links. And then I'm going to hit next, and I get to go to the next screen. Okay. This one is to create groups. So it starts with uh, pick a system. Again, I'm going to pick the uh, T-series. I'm not going to play with domains. I'm going to give it a group name uh, called DW, and I'm going to click add the group. Uh, notice over here I have choices of once I picked which system, it automatically filled in who the backup was, and I have a choice of what kind of remote copy I want to do, either synchronous or periodic. I'm going to do synchronous, and I'm going to click Add, so the group adds. Um, what kind of advanced options I get here? Uh, whether I want to do remote recovery or not. So then I hit next, and the next thing it's going to ask is, okay, so which volumes do you want to replicate? Um, I'm going to grab somebody's volume that already exists. Uh, so I'm going to grab this one. 
It looks like it's 50 gigs. And I have a choice of what I want that to be over on the F series. The choice is existing. Well, I don't have any existing guys over there. So I'm going to say, create a new one. And for the new one, it says, okay, I'm going to use essentially the same name. Pick which CPG over on the other series you would like for this guy to go into. Uh, I'm going to grab um, Fiber Channel Guy on the other side for his production data. I could also specify where I want him to go for the backup. Now, uh, I have the finish button listed down here, and I have learned from doing this demo wrong in the past that if I hit finish, nothing happens. In order for this to continue, I need to hit the add button to create this um, copy set. And once I hit that, then it's ready, and I can hit finished. So I used one of Alvin uh, Lee's uh, lens to do this. Uh, basically, I have shown you how to go through and set this up. And I wanted to demo that because only one person can set it up. From here on, as you guys go through, each of you can make your own remote copy group, and you can put your own uh, volumes into that. Uh, Alvin just needs to recognize that I've already grabbed one of his. And then I now have capability to come out and see that I have a remote copy group. Uh, I click on this guy, and I can see some details about what's happening in the group. Its state at the moment is currently synchronizing, so it's doing that initial synchronization uh, process. And I have my sync percent over here on the side, so I can see whether or not it's synced. If I wanted to see what virtual volumes are associated with that, I can see that there is the uh, virtual volume that's on the T3 and the virtual volume that's on the uh, F1 series. Um, I can see where it's being exported. I can see which one's the secondary. Uh, I can see whether it's set up for read-write or read-only. For my links, I have data for the, the group that I set up, what the links are, the two links that are up and functioning. For my targets, I have information about the targets. And then coming down and looking at the individual units, I can see, again, which ports are functioning on my two units. And then I have this other category down here of available inserves who are not already in a replicated configuration, and there's, there are no additional guys. So that's the quick and dirty replication setup. And again, extremely simple and easy to set up. Uh, I did not use a lab guide or canned steps to do this. I had somebody kind of send me an email I said, come down here and hit remote copy, and then click the new configuration wizard and walk through the wizard. That's all the instructions I was given. And um, so, again, fairly easy to, to set up and configure once your machines are physically connected to each other. Any questions on that? Again, I'm giving you guys just enough that you can now go in, create your own groups and play with it, which is, which is really why we're giving you so much lab time. We want you to be able to play with this. Please do not try to delete the configuration. Um, it's not as easy to delete it as it was to create it. There's not any magic wizard that says make it go away. Um, I know how to do that, and um, I'll clean it up at the, at the end of the week for the next class. Okay. Other thing I want to show you, 